awesome guys so this is Val in today's video I want to do a review of LNE CK HDRI lights for the array obviously they look just awesome when you look at you know the, the renders here and what I want to do is I want to you know get this package and see for myself exactly how you know how does it look when I you know, use it render it uh, what's the deal with using uh, HDRI maps for you know portrait or studio setting so green renders so um, obviously you know I'm gonna just simply load this scene into my dash you know environment here and see how it looks so we can locate it here in dash library live presets uh, alienic HDRI for iRay and there is a couple of you know HDRI presets like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 of them and then 6 lights and I'm gonna just try these maps to start with so simply I double click on them and I wanna go to NVIDIA preview I can see how that looks like now one thing I noticed when testing this out was that immediately upon you know rendering make pain undockable immediately upon rendering I saw that the um, the background was not visible alright so draw dome is set to off by default so each time you load these icons it turns off the dome which is kind of annoying but you know um, if you're not using the the map itself as a background then I say it works right so right now you're seeing uh, the light itself but not any background so we can turn the background off on sorry and these backgrounds are kind of simplistic um, they are usually a main color and then there is a stripe or gradient or something added uh, but they look really great you know sometimes you have to turn these backgrounds around if you want to see the if you want to draw the dome you don't have to you can use a specific a different background for it right but if you want to you might sometimes want to you know turn them around you know because there might be an edge or something you are obviously uh, noticing so let me remove any camera you know headlamp so you can exactly see how this looks like and this is a straight render now with only the, uh, the HDR map provided and I think it, pr it gives really nice soft lighting take number two immediately upon loading it removes the background again so you have to you know manually if you're using it you have to manually add it here and I think it, it's it's kind of cool because it uses like I said a a specific backdrop and a you know very simplistic uh, map for the light but it just provides very soft and natural lighting and I like it it's very easy to use uh, with great you know results so HDR number three it's all different animal brighter right uh, these are just perfect for any type of pinup renders photo studio renders but they will also illuminate entire settings right if you have the uh, entire room obviously if you have enough windows uh, that can then also bring in you know additional lighting to that as well so I noticed that some of the maps don't load properly uh, this one doesn't really load and show anything at all right it's just black I don't know why uh, it's loaded here right this one looks different than this one but it doesn't preview I'm not sure why not but it doesn't uh, number four doesn't do that and I think number ten doesn't do that so let's let's continue number five uh, number five looks like this again it's a very simple map it's mostly just a little bit orange then there's a cyan ish or whitish you know uh, color to it and it looks just great very nice soft lighting and obviously what you can do is you know rotate them around to get the best uh, uh, lighting for, for your scene and what you can do you can always rotate the dome so dome rotation you can rotate it to get a different angle on the light because some of the portions have brighter you know spots that might better suit your scene 
so you can rotate the dome for different angles but while doing that you will also occasionally get some of the geometry in there uh, visible might not be a big deal uh, note you cannot blur that you know, part in DOF sorry you can blur it in DOF but in doing so you also blur the floor so just so you know um, if there is any geometry visible here at the bottom it will also be blurred when doing the DOF uh, effect on it so I can in fact show you how we can go by testing this with the DOF on alright so depth of field on I'm gonna go to uh, top view wireframe and just quickly set the uh, um, focal distance so it's on her face, right? And I'm gonna lower that so it's pretty blurry as a backdrop. And that will now give me, you know, a softer backdrop. So if you run into issues with these, uh, the geometry, you know, from the map, like the circles, if you run into issues with those, right, you can simply blur it using the DOF that will work just uh, just fine. As you can see now it's blurred in the background uh, so it kind of survives that. Okay, so let me uh, let me lower that. We don't need to have that heavy effect. Alright, so next we can just you know <coughs> run through all those options and I can turn off the uh, DOF that has the bit to running so number six looks like this again you have to turn on the dome in order to, to see that but they look really cool I just love how easy they are to use and they give instant great looking you know renders uh, immediately uh, so seven a little bit slightly different look and feel so it's kind of dark but it's you know like, like in a dark pseudo setting it's really nice and uh, next one A bit brighter, right? Nine. Also very bright. Has different shades to it. You can also rotate them around. I think it was number ten that didn't load. No, it always did, did load. It was number eleven. So these are just very simplistic shapes uh, as far as maps goes, but they really produce great looking renders. So I really like that. So 11 doesn't load for some reason, it's just black. Not sure why. I have no explanation for it. Um, I just installed it, and this is my first impression of the light set. So, um, again, this is a more warmer, tinted, a little bit of gradient, right, overall, and then some cyanish, whitish um, on top of that. So, these are the maps, right? On top of that, you have six lights, like like light presets, so you can mix and match them on top of that. So if you double click on light A, it will load a you know a couple of spotlights into the scene, and one of them is just an ordinary light, okay, a very soft light, and the other one is a specific light that generates um, specularity effect. So that is for you know any skin reflections that will you know be uh, visible uh, by using that. And I have a little bit of reddish tone here. I'm using a eye ray uh, specific setting for for the skin. Not sure if it's really uh, the best option for this model. Let me actually try a different map for uh, for uh, our character here. Genesis three female. Let's do. Let's just do run another one here. Maybe take this one. Oh, just this one. And just you know, grab any IRA presets. Let me just see if I can just do a full body map. IRA legacy. Oh, something went wrong there. Let me do. Give me materials, array, and see if I can apply it. Skin, 
I rate, all right. Oh, there we go. Still looks a little bit different on the leg, and obviously those eyes and makeup you can add to that. So the lights you can obviously move them, all right. So it's a mix, mix and match of HDRI maps and you no know, lights you can move around. Now the uh, leg legs look a little bit different, a little bit better, right? More softer. Uh, so we can obviously now add eyes or makeup options. And the lips as well. Alright, great. Um, and for some reason it just jumped off. I I have no my eye makeup. There you go. So back to the light side. We have so we can now remove the lights, alright? And we can go back here to the light preset. Light presets. Um and just do the secondary one, right? I, I don't need to show you them all, but I can just show you this one here. It's a slightly different setup. This one uses four lights, and they all behave a little bit differently. Uh, what kind of effects they do? But I, I think there's when you mix the HDR map with these lights, it just produces an exceptional quality render. I just love how these look. Um, you know, really, really high quality. I mean, I didn't, you know, light the scene at all. It's just exactly what comes with the, you know, with these lights as they are loaded. I haven't even tweaked them or moved them. So it's, I, I'd say it's very, very impressive, very soft, uh, natural looking, quick to render, and perfect for any portrait, you know, renders. So, is this a good package? Definitely. Is it worth the 20 bucks? Definitely, and if obviously you can get on on a sale as well. But if you're rendering portrait renders in a studio setting or just with a single wall or something like that, when you can allow the lights to really, you know, get into your scene, this is just a breathtaking light set, uh, really worth the uh, the money. All right, so thank you for watching. As always, if you want to uh, find more information about this light set, you can click on the link below, and keep on tweaking, guys. And I'll see you next time.